Have you heard of the Bitcoin hash rate V-shape recovery? This is what it looks like. Bitcoin hash rate V-shape recovery. The Bitcoin network's one-month implied hash rate saw almost four months of steady increases since the beginning of 2021, topping at 166 exahashes per second EH. S in April, throughout that month and the next, it lateralized but started dropping sharply as June began. By July 1st, the Bitcoin network hash rate had fallen by nearly 30%, bottoming later that month at around 95 EH. S. But since then, hash rate has been recovering quickly, increasing by over 30% in about 30 days and setting a V-shape recovery in motion. The thriving computing power employed on the Bitcoin network started hovering down as China began tightening Bitcoin mining regulations in May. In under two months, provincial governments had already issued plenty of shutdown orders and inspection notices to local miners, who saw no other option than to flee the country for good. But since the Great Asik Exodus ensued, some farms started being redeployed overseas, bringing all those banned miners back online and triggering a strong hash rate recovery. August has been a vital month for the Bitcoin network hash rate, with the 30-day moving average of the mean hash rate currently at 120 EH. S, according to CoinMetrics data, the one-month implied hash rate is a better suited metric to track mid to long-term changes in Bitcoin's hash rate because it filters out all of the noise, explained Lucas Nuzzi in his article for Bitcoin magazine. As big daily swings in hash rate are phased out, the 30-day implied hash rate provides a clear view for which direction hash rate is heading as a whole. Currently, it needs to increase only by around 38% to reach its all-time high. The seven-day moving average, another popular hash rate metric, is currently at 130 EH, as the highest it has been since June. In a true V-shape recovery, the Bitcoin network hash rate has been successfully passing a severe stress test, showing it can recover from a ban by one of the world's biggest economies. Governed purely by free market principles, Bitcoin is indeed antifragile and impossible to be banned. Therefore, the true winners will be those countries that choose to adopt and welcome Bitcoin and its ecosystem rather than fight it and the sooner the better. Cryptocurrency investment more men than women invest in digital currencies crypto new media. TLDR breakdown. Research shows that over 50% of investors are men. Extent of cryptocurrency investment could be affected by gender discrimination. The crypto market represents a new financial model of the 21st century with a significant amount of investment regardless of gender. However, for the individuals investing in cryptocurrencies, it is understood that more than half are men, leaving women behind. According to an investigation by Acorn with CNBC and Momentive, it was found that over 50% of crypto investors are men. Women seem to have taken a backseat in the digital trading sector. This is similar to traditional investment models, where men also dominate the percentage. The stock market also shows a 40% participation from men and 24% from women. Mutual funds match 30% male investors and 20% female investors. Finally, real estate indicates that over 36% of investors are men and women have only 30%. Survey on the gender's participation. Momentive, Acorns, and CNBC endorsed research on the involvement of genders when investing in cryptocurrency. This research was under the name Invest in Your Next Gen Investor Survey. This survey began on the 4th of August and lasted only five days in which 5,530 Americans participated. 2,980 of those surveyed were found to have funds in bonds, stocks, cryptocurrencies, and ETFs. According to the survey, 11% of investors were white and the same number for black participants. 10% of those surveyed were Hispanic, 14% Asian and investors from other races occupied 13% of the crypto market. Racial discrimination is present in crypto investments. Investing in cryptocurrency and other financial models has shown that racial discrimination still exists in North America regarding financial investments. According to research, less than 50% of women of color may invest in crypto, real estate, and stocks. This figure is tied to the information stating that only 51% of black women have a bank account. When a person of color, male or female, attempts to invest in cryptocurrency, there is a 50% chance of being accused of money laundering. But only 20% of white people have been charged with the same crime. The research concludes by showing that no matter that the financial market has been renewed, these gender ties still exist. It is however expected that these investment figures will balance out in years to come because the cryptocurrency market is open to the public. U.S. global investors bought crypto exposure through Grayscale Funds. Texas-based investment manager U.S. Global investors, which reported $4.6 billion in assets under management as of Q1 2021, has bought exposure to Bitcoin. According to AUG, 30 filings from the U.S., 
Securities and Exchange Commission, U.S., Global investors added more than $566,389 worth of shares of Grayscale Bitcoin BTC Trust, or GBTC, to three of its eight mutual funds as of June 30th. The filings show the company invested $302,899 GBTC in its Gold and Precious Metals Fund, $222,532 in its World Precious Minerals Fund, and $40,958 in its Global Resources Fund. The Bitcoin exposure represents up to 0.19% of the net assets in the funds given the gold and precious metals fund alone has roughly $158 million in assets under management. However, it is a seemingly surprising investment from a firm that has significant exposure to gold, minerals, precious metals, petroleum, and other natural resources. U.S. Global investors also classify the GBTC as common equity. This is not a surprise nor does it indicate a shift in the way other gold equity managers view crypto or Bitcoin, said gold bug Peter Skiff, who noted that the CEO of US. Global investors, Frank Holmes, is also the executive chair of crypto mining firm Hive Blockchain. Holmes, a gold bug like Skiff, has previously predicted that the prices of Bitcoin and Ether ETH could reach $80,000 and $3,000 respectively in 2021. Though Bitcoin hit an all-time high price of $64,899 in April, the price of ETH went well above the CEO's prediction, reaching an all-time high of $4,384 in May. Related Sunday's GBTC unlock held more shares than the remaining events combined. For whatever reason hedging bets on inflation, Responding to investor interest other major investment firms have purchased GBTC. Morgan Stanley's Insight Fund owns roughly 928,000 shares of Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust, and SEC filings show Edge Wealth Management. JP Morgan Chase, ARK Invest, and Rothschild Investment Corporation also have exposure to BTC through Grayscale.